What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Plika. I'm Jerome. And I'm Nick. And today we're talking about Black Lightning Season 1, Episode 7. Anissa has powers now. We have to protect her. Together, Dad and I can put an end to the 100 once and for all. Show me how to do this. This road you're on, it only leads to heartbreak and pain. We need to have a conversation. Talk. Bring out the body bags. I'm about to kill them. Deliver them to the mortician. It's either her or you. Black Lightning, all new this Tuesday at 9. All right, so we started off the episode with Anissa and her mom arguing about her being a vigilante. And I was 100% on Anissa's side, and I was like, I'm really sick of her being like, Black Lightning, you can't do that. Anissa, you can't do that. Yeah, totally. But then by the end of the episode, I did write down, I was really happy that she was kind of on the side. Like, I was she's always been stubborn her whole life. Just train her and make sure she's safe. I was, I mean, I figured he wasn't going to want to train her. She wasn't want to let him train her Mm -hmm. but i figured that was gonna happen i was actually surprised that he was on the side of not training her at first oh really i thought he'd be all for it he's just so protected of them protective yeah so i but i figured because he should know kind of like what the mom said i figured he would know if he didn't she's gonna do it anyways so i figured Uh, he would just be like no we have to train her i just i I just figured it was something that had to happen but i didn't expect the mom to give in first Oh, uh, yeah, that's what I was surprised by, too, yeah. Uh, so then I, this I like. Jefferson calls out Gamby for lying in the beginning of the episode. Yeah, that fucker. And he's like, yeah, you may have said that to me. It doesn't mean I have to believe it. Yeah. I, I like that. We found out more about Gamby this episode. Like Later on, he has, uh, he has a meeting with Lady Eve. He's, it's seeming like they're framing him as the second bad guy or something. Well, I mean, and like, like you said this episode, he thinks he's doing good, but I, I feel like we're going to get yeah, some I, more shit. I feel like he thinks he's doing good. And they called it an ecosystem, whereas, so, like, she's, like, keeping the peace on the evil side, and he's keeping the peace on the good side, and as long as they don't fuck yeah. too much shit up, it'll... But it's, it's almost like two rival gangs having, like, a like, peace treaty. Yeah, kind of. And it's just, like... And it's like, eventually that's not gonna work. Not when you're, like, making suits for superheroes and shit. Yeah, and like, going and killing Joey Toledo. Yeah. Which... <laughs> that was funny. So, and Toledo obviously, like, saw Gamby. His eyes were like this, and, like, did you see the smile that he had? Yeah, it was weird when he had a smile on his face. I wonder if he knew, like, what was good, like, because he saw what he put on his chest was yeah. the, was the um, ashes. And I wonder if yeah, he... Yeah, the bones. Yeah, right? I wonder if he's like, oh, he's going to kill her now. And, like, he was happy about that. I wonder if, if Joey Toledo was like, oh, he's totally going to go kill Lady Eve now. Yeah, to probably. Well. So that's like, why he was smiling. Yeah, like that's just, like he knew he was dead, but that was his revenge. Yeah, and whatever. I think he kind of knew that. Oh well, you may be killing me or not, but you're kind of you're gonna be fucked in the long run. Yeah. Uh, which I I found that pretty interesting too. And then we get the next one. There just was a fucking brutal fight. We got Tobias Cage fighting with another guy who was on green light. That fight looked very real. Yeah, that was really cool. That that was one of the best like, choreographed fights I think we've had on well, and like the CW in a while. Yeah, I mean, he was beating the shit out of that guy. Yeah. That dude was a big dude, too. And he knocked him out once, and then he's like, where'd like you get this guy? And then the guy gets back up, and he knocks him out again. He's like, that guy had to have been on something. Yeah. And then, and so then he finds he's on that shit, and then he wants to stop it. Yeah. He's always like, oh, I didn't see that coming I either. I didn't either, yeah. Um. So then Lady Eve sends out two hitmen out to go kill the two guys that were after uh, Blood Lightning's wife last episode. And then she texts Gamby that uh, the cleaning crew's on the way, whatever, however she yeah, called it. Yeah, like she was cleaning up the mess. Yeah, which I I, I, st- I don't like them working together. Gamby, well, they're not Gamby anymore. I, yeah, uh, but I, which do you think? Where do you think that's gonna go? Well, it seems like whoever, what I forget what they called it, but the it wasn't the round table, but whatever the fuck it was, like mm-hmm. whoever's in, else is in charge. It seems like not m- maybe they'll come after Black Lightning because he got framed for killing her. Yeah. Um, Gamby knows he didn't do it, but then will he stick up for him? Yeah, that means he might lie to him again to yeah, to to keep the to peace or whatever, well, and, and to also hide the fact that he killed Joey Toledo too. Yeah. So yeah, that that'll, that'll, that'll be very interesting where that heads too. Um. So then Gamby and oh, I missed this one part. Uh, I liked the phone call scene with uh, Henderson and uh, Jefferson. Oh, yeah. Uh, that he was walking around the school talking to the guy. I thought yeah. that was a very interesting scene. Uh, and then we got Gamby and Lady Eve having a meeting in her little place where, she, where we find out she's 
prepping bodies to be resurrected. We found that out later on. But he goes and talks to her, and that's where we find out the ecosystem and all that that we just talked about. Yeah. Um, and Nessa finds out that David Poe is dead, which I I totally saw that coming. Yeah. Like, the second Jefferson was like, yeah, you got to go contact him. No powers. You know, make sure he doesn't die, though. I was like, oh, that guy's, that guy's well, long I mean, gone. You figured he was going to die in the last episode. Yeah, the way yeah. he was freaking out, too. Yeah. But, yeah, that kind of sucks for her and him. Like, mostly him, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Gamby kills Joey Toledo. That was a very odd but kind of cool scene. Him walking. Like, you didn't really get to see him kill the people, but yeah, you heard it. When he threw that. Or I, whatever happened where that guy went through the glass. Yeah. They didn't really show what happened. Like, I jumped because, like, I didn't expect yeah. that. I, I was surprised that he could throw a guy through the window. Well, then I was like, is this really going to be? And then he comes around the corner. I was like. Yeah, dressed like Zorro or something. Yeah, I was thinking, like, a Dick Tracy, but instead of yellow, it was black. <laughs> like, yeah, it was it was very odd. Um, I don't I just. I think I think it's t- totally the the actor that makes me, like, iffy on his character. I feel like they should have maybe chose someone else to play Gamby. Well, because you didn't trust him in Dexter either? Well, yeah, and it's just, I don't, like, that, I don't see him in that role. So yeah. everything he says, it just seems weird. And that, that's totally just, like, on me, because, like, I watch that guy in Wolfred and Dexter and all kinds uh, of shit. Yeah, yeah. But, like, I don't know, I, I don't like him in that role. He, I mean, he's... He's not trustable in this yeah. role, but it's I, I don't know if it's the I, I don't know I, I he was fine in the first couple episodes with me, but I I trusted him then I just thought yeah that's true, just some weird dude that made sense for him and all that Cisco yeah uh, I really like that Lynn said to Jefferson that he should train Alyssa L- yeah uh, I when she said that like we said probably being I was very surprised but I really liked that it made me is that like, gonna like her a little more because she was on pace with that. Is that good? Well, because then she wants her to do it right. Yeah. So, like, she might get more involved, but in a good way. Yeah. <clears throat> um, And then Gamby tells her that he's going to make, and it tells Anissa, he's going to make her a new suit. Suit sounded cool. Yeah, we've all seen the pictures online. It look, I haven't. Uh, it, it looks pretty neat. It'll be interesting to see, like, in actual, like, live action, because the pictures, they always look a lot different than the, uh, yeah. the show. So I'm interested to see that. Hopefully it's next episode. They usually kind of make these things go by fast, or when it's Monel's case, it never happens. Okay. Uh, Black Lightning attack. Black Lightning attacks Tobias and then gets his sister killed. Yeah, I I was surprised his sister died. To be honest, because she's yeah, only been on, on a couple episodes. I think only two or three. Yeah. The just past couple, but yeah, I was surprised. I thought Black Lightning was gonna like rush her to the hospital and be like, "Oh shit." I but also just kind of stay with me, stay with me, and then she she I left. I also wasn't a hundred percent sure that Tobias could get hurt. Yeah, I was surprised. I, he got fucked up. Like, how the lightning flew back and all that. Like, yeah. I thought they were going to have a huge fight there. Yeah. But from that, it seemed like Black Lightning could easily take him down if he catches up to him. Yeah. So, yeah. But so I, uh, he won't. But yeah, I know yeah. what you're saying. Like, if, if, if he didn't get picked up by his guys there, it seems like Black Lightning could have just ended him right there. Right. So, that, I thought that was pretty cool. That, that end fight scene, I really liked. Yeah, he's beating um, shit out of the And then, meanwhile, guys. Tobias's men is attacking Lady Eve, which we later find out was to frame Black Lightning for murdering her. Yeah, where do you get lightning guns? I don't know, but those things are pretty cool. I thought they were like Ghostbusters. That that whole like fight scene with her was pretty goddamn cool. Yeah, because she beat that dude's ass. Yeah, she almost won. When she was winning, before that last guy comes yeah. out of the thing, I was like, damn, she's a badass. And I yeah, it, ma- was... it made me like her. Yeah, and then they killed her. Yeah, because like I wasn't against her before, but like I didn't really have any feelings on her. Right. And then that's when I was like, oh, I actually really like her. Yeah, because she was she wasn't like, well, like, she, she was wasn't hiding. just sitting there putting stuff into a body. Yeah. Or putting sending ashes to somebody. Um, and then Henderson calls Jefferson and says that you've gone too far this time and hangs up on him. And then we see the news that Lady Eve was burned and get the reveal that he was framed for her. And then the weirdest part of this episode. Lala wakes up in like some motel room. Some ladies there ask him, "What are your thoughts about resurrection?" Gets sucked into his chest, and then is like a brand of her on his chest. Yeah. And now Lala's back, which I liked him in. The, I think he was in the first two. Then he yeah. Got, then he got killed by uh, Tobias. Tobias killed him. But that that's pretty. Makes you wonder what Tobias. So is he going after Black Lightning, or is he going after Tobias? I would you, I would think Black Lightning, but I don't know. You know what I mean? Because like. I saw I saw when I was looking up uh, stuff on IMDb I saw that guy's gonna be in the majority of the season, which I was pretty happy about. Right. Well, I mean if they if they believe that Black Lightning killed Eve, then they'll go after him, but if they don't believe it, they would go after Tobias. Yeah. But like so that's crazy that she was like And if he doesn't go after Tobias, would he 
be like, hey, you killed me, motherfucker. Yeah. You know? So. I mean, he might go after both. Who knows? Yeah. But that, I thought that was pretty cool. I did not expect that at all. No, I didn't see that coming. Like that, the, the lady sucked in. I was like, oh, okay. This show's getting weird now. And I like she, that. You get a tattoo of the person that went in you? Yeah. That was weird. Like, we haven't seen the lady before, right? I no. I, I didn't recognize her at all. But I thought that was pretty cool. I, I thought I really liked this episode. Yeah, it was really good. I'm excited. I'm excited for the rest of the show because there's so few episodes. It, uh, pretty much every episode has to be like. How many more episodes are there? This was seven, so I think there's six left. Yeah, because there's thirteen oh, okay. episodes this right. season. Cool. So there's only only a few left. Yeah. Um. But yeah. So that's it for our block lighting review. Please like and subscribe. Go check out our flash review we did as well tonight. Check out our Patreon, and we'll see you guys next week.